All right. Hi guys, I'm Tracy. Welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a review and demo of a product that I got that I'm, I'm really excited to have. And at the same time, I'm going to incorporate a slightly more advanced eyeshadow look. Now, I'm no um, makeup artist, so when I say advanced, I just mean a little bit harder. This is not going to be something that you need a ton of skill for. But I also did want to showcase some of my newer brushes that you guys may or may not be as familiar with because they tend to be a little less used versus the you know the standard um, round goat hair blending brushes. I'm not going to be using these today. I am going to be using brushes such as these and these are all um, squirrel hair brushes and at the same time I'm going to be doing a review of a new product that I got not new just new to me the Suku quad and this was on sale at Selfridges for a very good price and I've been meaning to try a uh, Selfridges um, a Suku quad for a long time and so when I saw this go on sale I Thought it was a great opportunity to try one of their eyeshadow palettes and I have to say I, I used this yesterday and I've been very impressed with the looks I've got or the look I got and um, when you see this on the website it looks very muted it it doesn't really stand out at least it didn't to me but in person it's so much more beautiful it's so these two bottom shades are so sparkly and this shade up here is so unique. It's like a holographic, um, kind of like a highlighter, but it has like a iridescent, um, very slight iridescent um, sheen to it, which is very beautiful. And I don't have a eyeshadow palette like this, and I don't have eyeshadows like this. They're, they are powders, but they're very, um, very emollient, and that is in the description when you see their um, the listing on Selfridges, they they like stick to your skin in a way that is kind of like creamy, but you know it's a powder. Anyways, you guys will see how they perform, and I'm really really excited to have this one. So I did not find any reviews on this particular palette, so even more so, I wanted to do this demo for you guys today. So. Um, We'll get right into it. I'm going to start off with this really light, like, um, holographic shade and get my hair out of the way a little. All right, I'm going to start out with a num the Wayne Goss 3 and just really lightly get that all over. And I feel like this palette is like very difficult to mess up because the sh the shades go on so light um, they're subtle but very sparkly at the same time and it's not really a type of look I've gotten with other palettes I mean I sh I'm sure I could if I tried but I wanted to really show you guys how this palette works and the way the look comes out when you're using a Suku quad. So I'm gonna go closer. So I'm using the um, kind of brown matte shade, but even though it's it kind of looks matte, it does have a slight um, kind of like a satin finish. And this is the Mizuho blending brush. It has a little bit of a point, but it's also very soft brush so it's not going to give you any like strong lines or it's not going to give you a ton of definition it's just going to like lightly kind of carve out the dimensions on your eyes Now I'm going to use the um, Chikohoto Z10 just to lightly use this shade on the lower lash line. All 
January and I'm going to be doing like the pur a purple look but then I'm going to use the green to like line my eyes at the end so I'm using this really sparkly purple shade and this is really really beautiful color I kind of was trying to compare it to the Pat McGrath shades and if if I had to compare the Suku shimmers to anything, I would say it's more like Pat McGrath, less like Viseart, but Pat McGrath um, shimmers have more impact. They have um, more shine. The glitters are more reflective. This is more like, um, like the, the shimmers are more like sprinkled. It gives a very, just like a more natural shimmer look. And if you did want to make this look more intense, you would use the goat hair blending brushes and it would give you like more definition. So for this, the first um, coat of shimmer, I use like a light, a slightly bigger packing brush. This is the um, Hakuhodo G5523 which I just got in my last haul and I really really like it. It's so soft. It It's probably you know the softest uh, eye brush I have along with a couple of other ones and it just um, I can't really I know I've described it with the the Chikohodo GSN9. It's similar similar to that in that it kind of disperses the shimmer. It doesn't concentrate it where you put the brush. It kind of like disperses, if um, that makes sense. And I think if you are heavy handed with eyeshadow, if you switch to a squirrel hair brush, It will give your look uh, more subtle. It will make your eyeshadow more subtle. So that's kind of the majority of my the um, the eyelid, and then I'm going to use uh, one of these packing brushes to put that really light shade, like in the inside. And this is the Algodo J246, which is the smallest um, packing brush that I have so I can get it right in the middle right here. So this color, it doesn't really have a lot of pigment. I hope you guys can see that. It's just like a holographic, kind of like those highlighters that don't have a lot of color. It just kind of sparkles. That's what this shade reminds me of. So you can really pile this on, which is what I'm doing, and it's not going to look too crazy. So I think this, this palette is very beginner friendly. So if you're just, if you're, you're still kind of learning how to do your eyeshadow, I think this is a really great palette because it's kind of hard to mess up. You know, you have to, well, one downside, you really have to build up the shades to make it you know, make it visible. Okay, I'm going to use the Wayne Goss 4. This one is a lot more pointy than the other two that I was using. And I'm going to use that just to kind of darken up this little area right here. So that's the majority of the look and then I'm going to just 
use um, because these shades are so subtle if you really want to darken up your lash line you're gonna have to use a pretty firm uh, pencil brush and for that I really like the Wayne Goss number no. 5 which I know you can't get anymore and I did see a question on Reddit asking if anyone knows a dupe for this brush and I don't because I've tried a few others and nothing quite gives off this type of um, like a concentrated um, you know it really concentrates the line of the shadow you're doing but it looks natural at the same time like it doesn't look like eyeliner So what's really unique about these Suku quads is they mix colors. If you guys are familiar with the different quads, um, not, not all of them, but a lot of them mix different colors. So unlike a Charlotte Tib Tilbury quad where all of the shades kind of like match each other, you know, you're going to get a purple look or a pink look or a blue look or something. Suku mixes it up so I have a purple and a green and a lot of times they'll put like a blue and a yellow I, I know one like that you know they kind of um, you know they, they change it up they don't look like other quads at least not that I've seen um, so some people might think that makes it harder but even though like you can see here I have purple and green but I think it looks great. I don't think, you know, there's something about whoever put this together, I think made sure that even though the colors don't look complimentary, once you get them on the eye, they actually look really pretty. So I hope I'm showing you guys that with this tutorial. And, you know, considering how sparkly these shades are, I see very little fallout. I have a little, I'm trying to get it off without messing up my, I see a little right here. But very, very little. And it's kind of a pet peeve of mine because my the fallout often for me it just like sticks to my skin okay and then I'm gonna finish my eyes a little later off camera and just because we're doing the whole um, suku thing I'm also going to show the um, blush that I have this is the first suku product that I got and this is kind of what started my deep interest in the brand I really like that there's two shades here um, this is supposed to be like, I guess, kind of highlighter-ish, but it, it really doesn't translate like a highlighter. This palette is leans more matte, but if you wanted to give it, you know, if you wanted to have a little bit more sheen, you can do that too. Um, I don't know if I should use this Bisciotto or the, the Hakuhodo. They're kind of similar. Um, just because I want to get to know this brush more I'm gonna use this and this is how I do it I kind of like do like that and I kind of let the colors mix as I put the blush on and like the eyeshadow quad this blush is very hard to mess up one downside is if you are if we have like a deeper complexion this might not show up on you because on me it's it's very subtle it can be built up but I think it's meant to have that kind of like water color kind of like your your skin is stained I feel like it has that kind of finish 
which is different from my other blush formulas. So I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about. And work right here. Okay. All right, and then off camera, I'm gonna do my mascara and a little bit of bronzer. Nothing new, and I'll be right back. All right, so here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the tutorial. I'll give you guys a little closer look at the eyeshadow. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you all next time. Bye.